Welcome to UTG's Project Farm, right? But not quite, right? That guy is next level, and all we really have is a semi-scientific comparison between a vapor rust and the old homeopathic rust remover, white vinegar with a touch of salt. So our story begins a few weeks ago when we bought this motorcycle and went through all of it, put a carburetor on it, did everything we had to. We got it to fire up and run off filling the carburetor with a squirt bottle. That's perfect. But now the tank is an issue. So the tank is completely rusted on the inside. Uh, scaly, ugly, dirty rust. Not rotted anywhere, but rusty. So normally, when I have a situation like this with a motorcycle tank, I pull the tank off, pull the pack hock out of it, put a handful of, of small nuts, screws, bolts, you know, just a handful of like random small hardware in there, throw a gallon of white vinegar in it, and then let it sit for a day or two, give it a shake, let it sit, give it a shake, let it sit. But what happened with this tank here, is that this, this has got this old paint, this paint's got to be 40 years old, and it's got this pinstriping on it, and I'm very afraid of damaging any of the paint. I'm trying to, keep, trying to preserve this thing. So I says, all right, let me try to pull the pet cock out of it without taking it off the bike and see what I can do, right? I'll take the pet cock out, and then I'll pull the tank out, and I'll go through those motions. Pet cock would not budge. I mean, it's on there. I tried everything I could think of to get it. And it got, I got to the point that I was afraid of either breaking it off or tearing out the bottom of the tank. He says, leave it. And then miraculously enough, the peckhock itself isn't clogged. I don't know how that is, but the peckhock isn't clogged. It, fro it flows freely. So what do I do now, right? I can't use a sealer, you know, like, like cream or anything like that. The peckhock would have to come out to do that. He says, I'll just go with my old standby with the, the white vinegar and I won't put the nuts and bolts in there, I'll just leave it, let it slosh. And if you let it sit long enough with the white vinegar, it will eat the rust. And you can flush it out. And then he says, well, you know, let's try something, let's, let's try something a little bit more professional than this, right? Because I don't want to go with POR 15, especially since I can't take the tank out. I don't really want to, or the peckock out, and I don't really want to encapsulate the rust, I want the rust gone. So, I says, let me try a vapor rust. All right, okay, by the name, by the very name, it's going to evaporate the rust. So I says, you know what, it's worth the investment. I run over to Harbor Freight, $30 for a gallon, $31 with tax. It's a lot of money for something like this, but I figure, you know what, the bike is worth the investment. So I says, all right, let's give this a shot. So I went and I bought a gallon of this stuff. I says, let this thing evaporate my rust. I pour it in the tank, and for the next two days, I... I, I let it sit, slosh, let it sit, slosh, let it sit, slosh, drain it out, pour it back in. I mean, I did everything I could to, to try to get this thing to work. But as I'm looking in the tank, I don't see the rust diminishing any. It, it just doesn't change. And here's the cap. So you can see that I had left this sitting upside down like this for a day, filled with the vapor rust. And, and you see it really didn't make any difference at all. And the same thing, if you look inside the tank, it's still as rusty as ever. So I says, all right, I gotta try, forget this vapor rust, I gotta try the white vinegar. But I says, well, before that, wait, this is something that might interest the viewers. So I says, let's do a direct side-by-side -side comparison between a vapor rust and white vinegar with a touch of salt. And that's what we've got here. These things, it's, it's like almost 12 o'clock now on Monday. These things have been soaking since 6 o'clock in the morning yesterday, Sunday. And this is what we've got so far. So these are rear struts off of a different motorcycle. And you can see by the untouched part of it, the rust is pretty much exactly the same between the two. So when I put these in their solutions yesterday morning, they both had this even patina of rust on them. So here's what we've got. The Evapo rust looks like it's working from the bottom. It's clean. It's, it's, it's actually pretty clean here. And working its way up. The vinegar is also doing a pretty good job. And it appears to me that the vinegar 
the areas that the vinegar removed the rust from so far are brighter than the areas from the vapor rust. So here's here's where the magic happens. Okay, so this is soaking, and this is what I was hoping I would I would get. Well, would the rust magically disappear from the inside of my tank? Was it going to happen? We're going to take each of these and give them a little bit of a brushing with this and see which one, after just some rubbing, is going to give us the best result. So first we'll do the vapor rust. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm going to say that, that's actually pretty nice. That's actually really nice. All right, so the rust didn't quite evaporate, but it came off pretty easily. All right, so now let's try this with the vinegar. You know what? That's that's pretty even. And yeah, clearly the evapor rust did a better job than the white vinegar, but really not that much. I have a feeling if these sat for another, the, the, this is about as rust free as that's going to get. I have a feeling if this sat for another 10 hours, 12 hours, this would probably look exactly like this does. Both did a fairly good job, and you can see by the patina on the rest of the strut, you now these things were even going in. Right? They were pretty much as exact as I can get them. Now, the vapor rust did a better job here. For some reason, it didn't do anything in the tank, but it did a pretty good job here. But is it worth the price? So this was $31. I know you can get it cheaper through Amazon, but then there's shipping and all of that. This was the, the Harbor Freight price was like $29 and tax was like 31 and change. And then this is just from any supermarket. I got this at Publix, it's $2.80. And then probably used another 20 or 30 cents worth of salt to make the solution. What I did notice is that one, one of the downsides of the vapor rust is any place where it splashed, it left a gummy film. Now it says, that it doesn't, it, it doesn't damage paint, it doesn't damage plastic or anything like that. And okay, I'll go along with that, but every place, you can see my footprints, every place I was, it left a gummy film. Like, I mean, a seriously gummy film, where you don't get that at all from the vinegar. So if by some chance you splash it around as you're going about your business, you're gonna have to do some serious cleanup afterwards. But again, I noted it, it, it says it doesn't harm plastic, paint, vinyl, anything like that, and, and I'll go along with it. But, like I said, it does leave a film, and I don't know if I want that film in my gas tank for any amount of time. So for my money in the future, you know, I will definitely stick with my old standby vinegar, white vinegar, and the salt. And I know, you do YouTube long enough and you've got a psychic sense for the comments, and I already see you guys, what about molasses? What about electrolysis? What about blah, blah, blah? And there's, there's so many different methods of rust remover. I just wanted to do a side by side by something that I tried and not crazy with the results and something I've always used. And there it is, side by side. I hope you got something out of that. Now fill my tank with gas and go for a ride. And I'll see you tomorrow.